Today we're having the second of our national workshops and today we're going to be talking about transport investment in the realms of uncertainty. Hopefully it will give us some indications of how we can get some certainty. Insights into how some of these new technologies are beginning to influence uh, what's happening on the ground. To help broaden all of our minds as to what really is possible. We need to understand and think about what's coming ahead in order to invest in the right projects. The pace, the sheer pace of change, I think is absolutely extraordinary. In scope are three distinct but complementary trends. The electric vehicle piece, the autonomy component and the mobility as a service. When you start layering the three of them together, this is where the genuine transformation comes through. How on earth will anyone make any money out of it? It's very difficult to make any money out of transport. And the mobility industries are massive capital investors. Infrastructure, fleet, facilities, real stuff. And more of that will be needed, much more. If we want Mobility 2030 to be secure, then its assets need to generate returns over realistic economic lives. How do these systems change the governance of transport? Well, I think, first of all, it gives voice to users. There's a massive shift in who knows what about mobility. I think it's the phone companies and the app developers and Google who know this. Managing the allocation of road space is going to be particularly important if we want efficient outcomes. I don't see many local authorities as well prepared for this as they need to be. This whole discussion has been built about uncertainty. What do you think we should be doing now? What are the synergies politically and in policy outcomes that take the best of what this new stuff can do and feed the good bits of what I have now? None of this solves the capacity challenge and indeed a lot of it might actually make it worse. What is definitely going through the roof is logistics and they are the same industry. If you had a metro system, how would you build the business case to extend it? I guess it depends where the metro system is, but I guess we're referring to your metro uh, system. Is it inevitable we end up in a sort of ubiquitous road pricing world? No. I think the least sensible way of doing this rationing is by sheer bloody mindedness and congestion. It just remains for me to thank Greg and Simon. That's been absolutely fantastic. I'm now, I'm now thinking about my business. <laughs> he gave a really balanced insight in, into what the real issues are and how we take transport forward in our cities uh, over the next sort of 20 to 30 years.